Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. The stock market is a wealth building tool, but you hear story after story of people losing money in the stock market. Why are people losing money in the stock market when historically the stock market goes up? Today, I'm gonna to give you five reasons why people lose money in the stock market. The first reason people lose money in the stock market is because they're trading and not investing. A trader buys stock with the intent to sell in less than one year. An investor buys stock with the intent to hold that stock for more than one year. Most people don't know the difference. And a lot of people will buy stock thinking they're an investor, but as soon as they hear bad news, the stock market is getting ready to crash, they panic, they let their emotions take over and fear turns them into a trader. They go in and they cash in or they sell their stock. The stock market is about the future. You invest in a company today with the hopes that that company will grow over time in value. Therefore, your investment will grow over time in value. If you're day trading, you're investing for the present, the short term. The goal there is to buy a stock and hope in the short term, in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, 90 days, that that stock goes up rapidly. And at that point, you're able to sell that stock and have a nice profit. The longer you hold the investment, the better opportunity you have for that investment to increase in value. Don't get me wrong, you still have to be investing in the right companies. If you invest in the wrong company, that company could go to zero. But what history tells us though, if you invest in for the long term, you have a better opportunity to be successful and grow your money than trying to invest for the short term. You don't have to be an expert, guys. Just buy good companies and hold them long term. The second reason people lose money in the stock market is because they listen to the media. The media, oftentimes, when they report a story about the stock market, they're reporting it in a reactive mode. So for an investor, it's too late. If I'm getting my stock tips from the media, I'm too late, right? Because when the media says the stock market is soaring, it's too late. It's already there, right? If the media says the stock market is crashing, it's too late. It's already crashed. So don't listen to the media guys for your stock advice. Do some sound research on your own or find other resources out there that can give you current information to help you make a good solid decision when it's time for you to buy your stocks. But if you're listening to the media, you're going to always be one step behind. The third reason people lose money in the stock market is because they invest money that they can't lose. Never invest money in the stock market that you're not prepared to lose. Remember, investing in the stock market, there's a risk associated with that. That company could go bankrupt and your money will go to zero. So you shouldn't be taking your last savings and putting it in the stock market. Also, you should never buy stock on margin. And margin is basically borrowing other people's money. Normally, it's the brokerage account or the brokerage company that you have your brokerage account at. Depending upon your account and the money you have in your account, the stock value you have in your account, they may extend 
a line of credit to you based on that collateral, which is your brokerage account or your cash. My recommendation is stay away from that because if you really don't know what you're doing, you could go to zero really quickly. So if you had a 30% decline in your stocks and they do a margin call, they can sell that position to cover their margin loan and you're wiped out. So never invest money you can't lose and never borrow on margin and never invest in a stock that you don't understand. Now you don't have to be an expert, but you do have to have some general understanding of that company and what that company does. And if that company has a chance to continue to grow and be profitable, think about Hertz a year ago before this whole debacle and them filing for bankruptcy. That's my point guys. These companies can go to zero. So only invest in things that you understand and you believe have a good chance of growth, right? Because I'm putting my money in this company today with the hopes over time in the future, my investment will grow as this company grows. The fourth reason people lose money in the stock market is because they shouldn't be picking individual stocks. 99% of us guys are not going to be successful at picking individual stocks. Therefore, it's my opinion, 99% of us should be investing in index funds or ETFs. See, when you invest in individual stocks, you can have 20 of them. But when you invest in a index fund that tracks the S&P 500, now you're invested in 500 stocks. 20 stocks or 500 stocks. History tells us index funds outperform 99% of individual investors and they outperform 95% of hedge funds. Invest in the stock market, but do it through really good index funds and or ETFs. The fifth reason people lose money in the stock market is because their financial goals don't align with their investments. If you are a person that's putting money into the stock market for long-term building of wealth, but you're constantly in your brokerage account buying and selling, then that doesn't align with your long-term goal of building wealth. So you got to make sure you align your investing activity with your goals. Now, if your goal is to be a short-term trader where you buy and sell stock to make money, cash flow to take care of yourself, then that's different. Then you're doing what you should be doing. But you shouldn't be buying and selling every single month if your goal is to grow wealth long term because the way you grow wealth long term in the market the stock market is through compounding right the effect of compounding and reinvesting dividends and buying more consistently buying through dollar cost averaging into the market that's the way and over a long period of time that's the way you build wealth buy good strong solid companies and hold them long term or buy good strong solid ETFs or index funds and hold them long term. If you do that, history tells us you have a really good chance of having a great future, right? Because I don't remember on my research where there's ever been a 20 year block in the, in the stock market where it hasn't performed favorably. Those are the five reasons I believe people lose money in the stock market. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. What are some additional reasons why people lose money in the stock market? And I want to leave you with this. Warren Buffett, of course. Be fearful 
when people are greedy. Be greedy when people are fearful. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and smash that like button for me. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.